Hey everyone, this is Adam from realhomerecording.com. In this video, I will be reviewing the Baxter EQ from Variety of Sound. This is a plugin I've been anticipating for the past few months ever since I've heard of it. And basically what it does is it gives you a piece of hardware that is about $2,000 for free. And it does an amazing job on making mixes sound better but not destroying their original tonality so right here I have a heavy metal song that sounds a bit muddy and adding high end to it kind of cleared it up a little bit Um, before I just keep showing you some more, I want to go through the controls here. Mid side, which allows you to affect just whatever's in the center of your track. So like vocals, bass, a snare drum. Or on the sides, you typically have guitars and drum overheads, you know, whatever's spread to the left and the right. And then we have a Butterworth high cut and low cut filter and what that means is a very transparent filter 12 decibels per octave good stuff another uh oh by the way this plugin is based off the design of a man with the last name back sandal who came up with a way to have shelving filters that sounded very musical, pretty much flat and uh, transparent. And I, I believe they were the closest thing to coming to a linear phase equalizer at the time. So these were hugely popular. Actually, they still are hugely popular in mastering houses. So, and really expensive stereo systems I think uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Marshall amplifiers have this in there or not but that's another thing that you can use this plugin on if you ever record direct injection guitar tracks you know for either later reamping re or if you have a amp modeling plugin like Amplitube or Guitar Rig then you can do some tonal shaping with this plugin. All right, so next we have your cutoff filter for the shelving for the low low shelf, and then we have the actual boost and cut knob, and then we have our high frequency cut and boost knob, and then the high shelf frequency, cut off frequency, or should I, eh, sorry, it's late I'm, when I'm recording this. And then uh, the, the actual cut off, for, uh, again, this is a Butterworth filter, transparent. And then finally we have a volume, volume knob. And I forgot to mention that there's linking buttons for linking uh, left and right, up and down here or mid and sud. So, what does this thing sound like? I already played you a little bit of a sample, but I want to continue more. This is probably a chorus right here. Yeah, boosting this five decibels, it, it still sounds pretty darn good. And I got some low end boost as well. Not sure if I really need it, but it sounds good and I wanted you all to hear that. But yeah, the high end really needed a boost. And really, I would probably remix this 
Um, just, you know, individual tracks probably need some more high end and also some cut, cut in those muddy frequencies. And maybe instruments have something to do with it too. I'm not sure. I don't want to, I don't want to put the blame on that, but, you know. So now I'm going to show you a rap track. It's good stuff on this track. It, this track, I didn't think it needed it, but when I put this plugin on and boosted the low end, I was just amazed by it. So. About driving fast cars and buying out the bar. Cause if I come in following trends, I wouldn't get far. Whack rap flooded the game, but I'm no was up. Cause the flow hot like surviving with a broken heart. People famous for laying you down, so I depend on myself. No unity in these streets, every man for himself. If we ain't on the same page, then sorry you getting left. No half steps, I'm tired living from check to check. Making music ain't cheap, so my dollars comes and goes. Chicks want a date, but I ain't got money to blow. Always tell it like a Another thing I didn't like was the hi hat sample sounded a little bit too too bright. Half steps from Tyler living from check to check. Making music ain't cheap, so my dollar. Let me find competition on my job, y'all. This my beginning, everybody competition on my job, y'all slipping like a bad transmission. Every task given, I'ma give it a hundred and ten. So if you're looking for the next star, I am Competition on my job, y'all slipping like a bad transmission. Every task given, I'ma give it a hundred and ten. So if you're looking for the next star, I am him. Yes, since night. But yeah, the cut cut doesn't sound too bad. But uh, I don't have much negative. I don't have any negative things to say about this plugin, especially because it's free and it, I mean it, it, the the tone of the EQ is nice. The complaints I have are the frequency knobs are a little bit hard to read. The numbers are a tad bit on the small side. So I would have liked to have lost some on the sides of this GUI or GUI and get more height on the plugin to be able to see the numbers or maybe make these knobs smaller, the shelving knobs smaller so that the numbers are bigger. As far as the color choice, looks great. It actually is a ripoff of, almost a ripoff design of, I think it's Damage Music or Damage Audio's Bax EQ hardware, which this is pretty much the emulation of it. But, uh, besides that and a little minor thing, I wish they would have called the file the PDF file included in the zip instead of it being called manual.pdf I wish it would have been called Baxter EQ space manual.pdf just so that when I put it in the in my plugins folder it's right next to the DLL file minor gripe I can rename it myself but uh, Bootsy as the programmer's nickname is he tends to do that <laughs> you know he keeps all the files named the same thing um doesn't always work well i guess you could extract it into its own folder but i typically just have you know my my 50 plugins all in the same folder so i mean really besides that i i like this plugin you can't beat the cost Unless they were paying you to use it, which would be ridiculous. The interface looks great. It works. It hasn't crashed my computer yet. So, definitely five stars out of five stars. You can pick it up by checking out the link in the video description. And I'll see you next time. This has been Adam from realhomerecording.com.